Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Ascending Soul's Journey. I am Lorianne, here to give you the messages for the month of January. And I will tell you guys, it is such a pleasure to be back. I'm really happy to have all of my subscribers. I love you guys so much, and that's why I've been doing this for three years. And I had, you know, I mean, I, I've just been through so much, and I'm at a place right now where I can start doing these on a regular basis again. So thank you for staying with me and stay tuned. There is so much new stuff coming. That's what I've been working on for you. Right off the bat though, what I wanted to say for you with 2021 rolling in, you know, this year has been about, and I'm recording this on December 30th, 2020. And this year has been about the teardown. It's looking seeing things being exposed. A lot of people have been separated, segregated in one way or the other, families, feuds, you know, all of these. I'm not talking about the world events, although that is part of it, right? But this is like individual families where this, this is a coming together is getting ready to happen. Now, a lot of people did reconcile, like they started reconciling their differences, which is what I had projected would happen in 2020 and it did where people made contact but they didn't necessarily do anything with it 2021 that's when it's going to take place and this isn't necessarily with you know that one person that did you wrong or anything like that for a lot of you this is going to be reconciling your inner differences within you so if you are an overgiver and you recognize you're an overgiver which a lot of you are on this channel right if that is you and you recognize it, you're going to be paying very close attention to what you're giving and who you're giving it to. So it's reconciling your own inner self. It's like uh, that discipline that we need not to eat the donut, right? <laughs> as I like pound down candy. Uh, but this is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Gemini. I'm going to start with a card from my energy uh intuitive tarot deck and we're gonna look at the overall energy and then we're gonna look at your end and the opposing end and then i'll put romance in at the end of the reading now i am going to be doing your readings on a weekly basis i'm probably going to do it in either you know air signs or i'm going to do it all as one big video um but definitely wanted to get this monthly in because it's going to be an incredibly dynamic month it really is we have the card of telepathic communication and astro travel see reconciling can be in a dream it can be in your mind it can be a thought that comes through this is about you making amends you also have the card of the awakening and that's what i'm talking about this is what's getting ready to happen not just for the sign of gemini but for a lot of zodiac signs so this would be um, like you reconciling differences and just letting it go. Like there is no anger, there is no pain. There's, it was an experience that brought you to who you are today. And once we can get our conscious mind wrapped around that, it makes the whole world, it just, everything is different, right? That's what I feel. You guys are getting ready to do this in the month of January for this group. Now, either you could have already done it and you're in that one period after as you come out of it. But for the majority of this group, you guys are actually going to be going through this. And it's going to be a wonderful experience. And I have a feeling you're going to feel it very profound. Those of you where it's right around the 20th, 21st of January. It's going to be very uh, heightened time if you're going through this. So this is more coming through to me that this is internal within you. Who am I? What type of a career am I going for? And like I said, you may have already figured all that out and now you're getting ready to move forward. But I don't feel that January is the month of forward movement yet. It is the final preparation, the final release, the letting go, the getting rid of the old so that you can receive all this new great stuff. And that's what's getting ready to come in. So let's take a look at the storyline. We'll look at your side and the opposing side. And then love. Okay, we have the five of wands. And the five of wands is about arguing. It's quarreling. That's the inner conscious, uh, your subconscious mind. 
and, and the conscious mind doing inner battle. We also have the Knight of Wands. Now, there's a lot of meanings that can come through on all the cards, but the message that I'm hearing, the message that I'm receiving for you, Geminis, it's time for you to let go of that self-sabotage inner uh, um, energy that's going on around you. And a lot of us have been going through it. Part of it is because you've been really tired, overworked, underslept, whatever it is, under finances. All of the energies around us, no matter where we live, have affected each and every person on a very deep core level. And like I said, a lot of people have withdrawn through this. So I feel with you, you may have withdrawn from somebody. This Knight of Wands kind of energy is somebody who you may find very alluring, very attractive type of an individual. And it can represent the zodiac sign of Aries, uh, Leo, and Sagittarius. But I feel that this is somebody who kind of came in and out. This could have been your own child, came in and out and took what they wanted. There was a lot of quarreling in there. And for some of you, this is more about you getting on your horse and there's a fear, an actual fear of making this forward movement. And that's what I'm saying for a lot of you. I believe that February rolling into March is when you're going to get on the horse. Okay, the horse is here, but you got to come out of that five of wands energy. You got to come out of the inner battle. Now we have the princess of pentacles and the, the three of pentacles. So the opposing side, this is an offer, an opportunity that you might be waiting for. And they may have even had some competition around this, or you are fearing that there's competition. And who wouldn't be, right? I mean, that, that, that has nothing to do with 2020. We were always kind of feeling that way before. For some of you, I feel that this is an opportunity that you may believe is just going to come in and it's going to be that quick. And if you don't jump on that horse, you're going to lose it. And what I'm being guided to tell you is no, 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 sweethearts actually embrace this moment. If you feel fear, it is time for you to really absorb that fear. Breathe through it, join my meditation. It's a free meditation. You can go on my website. The I should be there, but if it's not, you can click the, drop, uh, the link uh, below in the drop box. But when you get into this place of <clears throat> Oh, I have band-aids all over me. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him. The dog and I were playing. He has big fat wolf teeth, you know. It's like, whoa. Don't take his rabbit. So th this feels like an energy that, and you have patience on the bottom of this deck. This is more about you get, getting ready to get up there. And it's like, I feel like uh, they're shivering and the quaking, literally, when we are afraid, if you had to do a public speech, let's just use that as a hypothetical. If you had to go up on stage or even do a video like this, this can this is hard to do if you're not used to it, especially if you're not used to hearing your own sound or seeing yourself or whatever it is that you have set up. But this is about the, 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 the fear, the actual fear of making this change. This is a bold, this is a bold move. The Knight of Wands is a bold move. Now, it can be an in and out energy, but whenever a knight gets on a horse, they are gallant. They are out for victory, right? So that's what I'm talking about. Getting on your horse means that you are now looking at victory. And that is going to be a challenging thing because all of the energies that are going on around us, all of the weird planetary alignments, all of these things that have taken place are actually meant to make us have to work to go past that. So this is, for a lot of you, might be your, your fear is what you need to over, uh, overcome. And with this telepathic communication, there's somebody that you know around you this may be the person, the soul connection, soulmate, twin flame, whoever triggered you into this journey. This may very well be, you're going to get a message from them. It has something to do with the reconciling. For example, I hadn't heard mine in a, over a year, and then all of a sudden I heard, I heard them talking to me. So it's like, you can just, it just happens, right? Now, one thing they're saying is use humor along the way when you're dealing with this situation. 
Some of you, this may be a little bit hasty on taking a job offer. So when you're looking at this offer, and it could be very tempting, it may have a lot of money attached to it. I don't mean rich, rich or anything like that, but uh, enough money where you're like, yes, I can feel like I did before. I'm okay. You have the skill set, you have everything you need, but it is a team player type of an energy where these two energies are going to collide. So if you did get this opportunity and you have the five of wands, that inner conflict, you walk in there with one ounce of doubt and you, you will not succeed. We cannot have one ounce of doubt when we're making magic, right? So this is about you being victorious because that's why you're going to get on this horse. And again, I feel it is more toward the latter part of January. But whatever it is, laugh your way through it. Gemini, you guys love to laugh, right? I know you do. You love to laugh. So they're saying laugh it out. Absolutely. That will help you. Now, we can't laugh through everything, but we can look at the brighter side and look at the reason why some things actually happen or it's out of our control. And this is the biggest one for a lot of us, myself included. It's out of our control. And if, it, and if we can't do anything about it, we literally can't do anything about it. So we can sit there and stare at it like my dog stares at his carrot, or we can move forward and know that if it's meant to be, it will be. And that's what I feel, you, you gems, you're going to do that. You're going to do that. Now, see, you have the Knight of Pentacles, and these are detail cards, and you also have the Star card. So it could be a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn energy or an Aquarius as well. Now, as we are rolling into 20, I mean, we just entered into the age of Aquarius, and it's all about truth. Starting a brand new um, segment in time, in history, and us as a soul being, we get to be part of what is taking place, which is pretty cool, but it's also kind of creepy, right? It's also kind of not fun. But the good thing is, is the star card here is talking about hope, and this is about faith. And this is also talking about the Christmas star. And I'm glad that this came up because there is something huge and profound that is getting ready to happen toward um, over the next few days, right around the 31st rolling into that first week. Now, it may be delayed a little rolling up into the 20th, but I see it very, very, very predominant there because something else is going to happen right around the 20th of January. But whatever this is, it's going to like light up the sky and it's going to be absolutely dynamic. So I hope you guys get to witness it. Um, this is that star of hope. This is the Christmas star that we just saw. And, and I don't call it the Christmas star. I call it the star of hope because that is exactly what it is. It restores faith and love inside of us. When we see something like that, it's magic. And I mean, it just lights up everything inside of us. Like we get plugged in, you know, and he's like, Ooh, it's so cool. Ooh, you know, and that's the way that I see this is. So use that beautiful sense of humor as you go forward into whatever this is. Now, when we're talking about love, oh my goodness, some of you are getting ready to meet somebody brand new. Now you could know them. You may know them through your work. There is a possibility of that. But I feel it's more of the energy like you might meet them through your work. So if you're the receptionist, hypothetically, and somebody calls and you talk to him all the time. I had this happen where we talked for like three months and then he flew out and he met me and we dated for a little while. So that was really fun. It's something like that where this person is going to come in and they're going to give you an offer, a really beautiful opportunity now again it has to do with your finances and career that's the finance and career card that's where i feel you're going to meet them through your job i don't feel they work there i feel you're going to meet them through the job like they come in and they buy something but it's a beautiful energy here now, when we're looking at couples, we're actually looking at the two of you might be quarreling a little bit. 
You might be arguing a little bit and welcome to the rest of the world, right? A lot of us have been going through it. And I certainly don't mean to make light of it at all. That's not what I mean. It's just like, don't feel alone because it is taking place everywhere. And when we go through this type of a change, it's very easy to feel like I'm the only one. Is it just us, right? And it's not. It is not. So we have the card, You Deserve Love. And this is what I feel is coming in for you beautiful Geminis when it comes to a relationship. Now, for a small group of you, this is an opportunity to reconcile differences, but it's a very small group of you, and it would be more that deep soul connection, okay? And you will already be feeling it. You don't need me telling you that group of you, it is that strong. And I don't feel there's very many of you in that group because they're coming in later. They're coming in, but they're coming in later. So this is like saying, you know, I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of of trying to stand up for what it is I want with you. You're my partner. You're the one that's got my back. So it's like that type of an arguing, that type of a quarreling, maybe even a self-sabotage energy from your partner itself. But what I actually see is I see the two of you being able to reconcile your differences, giving the apologies, and actually having something beautiful. Because with this card of you deserve love, and the awakening and all of this, this is going to be a night that you will remember forever. It could be romantic and maybe very passionate, but I feel it's more like sensual. It's more like uh, the talk and the touch. It's not anything to do with any kind of an act. This is like getting to know each other. So if you were blind, you'd be feeling each other's face so that you can learn each other, right? It's that kind of an energy, Gemini, and it's it's very beautiful. So for you couples, wow, right? Well, actually all of you, you know, when it comes to meeting somebody new too. Have an amazing January. Please subscribe and much love.